The next speaker is Audrija Chatterjee from Loreto. Audrija is now in Jadavpur University. She's also a student of English. She's now doing an internship with a reputed English daily in this city. She is a very well-known actress in plays and she performs plays and she's very aggressive in debating circles. And just for your interest, the last play that she acted in was entitled, And Then There Were None. So beware her <laughs> opponents. Of course, I would like to meet my best friend who lives far, far away. But of course, while she far, far away, I would also like to contact her through a social networking site. Of course, I'll pray for my father who may be transferred to some other city or maybe outside the country. But while he's outside the country, I will of course like to communicate with him through a social networking site. Ladies and gentlemen, communication through social networking site cannot be impersonal because we are intelligent enough to post a wall post on Facebook which is either personal or not personal. If it is an acquaintance, we know how to modify our communication. And if it is a close friend, we also know how to modify our communication according to how we communicate with our close friend or best friend. So saying that social networking communication is a network of communication which only facilitates impersonal communication is actually doubting the intelligence that humankind has. I would also like to point out that to put social networking and failure of communication in the same statement is very redundant. Because once you're mentioning social networking, and on the other hand, you're mentioning communication, which fails. When I present my debate, I would like to put it across to you on two levels. Firstly, I would like to prove to you how far from being a failure, communicating through social networking site is actually one of the most potent and effective mode of communication. And on my second level, I would prove you that how this motion for today is completely irrelevant and wrong. Our near and dear ones, our relatives and friends, live all over the world. Sometimes they live in the remotest of corners. And how do we communicate with them while they have to come back? We communicate through social networking site. You know why we communicate through social networking site? Because instead of using very, very, very expensive STD and ISD calls, we could do with a cheaper mode of communication, which is social networking sites. I mean, let me talk about myself. I'm a student. I don't work. Would I rather prefer, prefer communicating with my best friend? I mean, forget about personal touch. I can talk to her very personally over social networking site. Facebook allows me to send personal me messages. I can forget about wall posts and send her a personal message and be extremely personal. But the point is that that is a cheaper mode of communication. Not only cheaper, ladies and gentlemen, it's one of the most instant mode of communication. I mean, think about waiting for a response from postal services days and days. I don't know if you would receive it until you, it would really be relevant even then. So why not use Facebook? Why not use Twitter? Why not use MySpace? And use all these modes that are available to us for quick and instant communication. Because we all are very busy with our lives. We all try to do a number of things in our lives. And therefore, especially for people who work here, since a lot of them are present here who are in busy jobs, would prefer such an instant and fast mode of communication. Another thing that points us that how social networking communication is extremely important is how small business owners and entrepreneurs have used mediums like Facebook and Twitter in order to popularize their products. A lot of people, in fact, have also used such social networking sites to highlight the social issues and social programs. I remember it was a few years ago, during the Haiti earthquake, there were a lot of Facebook posts. And it was not only telling us about the disastrous effect of the earthquake, it was also letting us to contribute to the recovery programs through online payments. Now, how would this, ladies and gentlemen, be a failure of communication? Our very own Chief Minister of West Bengal, Mamata Banerjee, has a Facebook page and a Facebook profile. She says it is the most effective mode of communication. If you have to, reach to the youth, if you have to garner the interest of the youth, which medium of communication would you look for? You have it right there. You have a social networking site, which will let you have 500 million users in Twitter, ladies and gentlemen, and about 800 million users in Facebook. So are we trying to say that all these 800 million users and all these 500 million users have been failing to communicate? I mean, don't you think that's a very, very absurd proposition? I mean, let me talk about the Mumbai Triple Das, which occurred in the year 2011. 
There was a point of time, there was a lot of chaos and problems because the telephone networks had collapsed. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what did the victims and their panicking relatives resort to? They resorted to social networking sites. There were posts asking for blood donations. There were posts asking for food and accommodation. There were several posts which highlighted the emergency lines and contacts for police stations. Oh, but how is this a failure of communication, ladies and gentlemen? Are we failing to communicate that there are certain police stations and hospitals extremely important in this kind of a situation? Or are we failing to communicate that this particular person injured needs blood? I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, you cannot call social networking sites a failure of communication because of the sheer number of members that it has. I mean, possibly are you trying to say that Amitabh Bachchan on Twitter and Amor Tosan on Facebook have been failing to communicate all these years and they have no clue whatsoever what they have been trying to communicate and their fans or their followers have no clue whatsoever what they are trying to tell them. I mean, my fellow opponents came here and said that photos on Facebook might not communicate. Apparently, if you send a photo on a postal service, it will start communicate to, communicating to you instantly. I mean, I don't understand. A picture is a picture. You can all buy digital cameras, but if you have a problem, if, it is that, if that is transferred on Facebook. I mean, I refuse to believe there's a difference in the communication of a picture when it comes to Facebook and when it comes to real life. Then I come to the second level of my debate, in which I try to prove that this motion for today is complete, completely irrelevant and wrong. Now, why is that? This house believes that social networking is a failure of communication. Ladies and gentlemen, failure of communication. It does not say social networking leads to a reduction in the quality of language. Social networking leads to a loss of personal touch. Social networking leads to certain negative points, which, by the way, phone calls, mails, everything have. I'm agreeing that social networking has its negative points, but what I'm not agreeing to is that it fails in its communication. I would also like to point out that Social networking cannot be a failure of communication because it's a form of communication itself. To say communication is failing, communication itself is one of the most absurd propositions that I've ever heard. I mean, let me tell you another thing that we keep uh, harping on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. Social networking is not just that. Social networking is any blog, any website which lets you interact, which lets you communicate. The fact that my college today publishes my result on a website my college is use, also using social networking to communicate my results, my marks to me. And how on earth is that a failure, ladies and gentlemen? Please make me understand. Therefore, I think that this proposition today, that this motion today stands defeated because my opposition have not been able to prove how social networking is a failure of communication. Thank you. Thank you, Adrija. Yes, can we have a question for presidency? He spoke of how deterioration of language was not a hindrance to communication. Well, unless my understanding is flawed, language is the means of communication. So if language deteriorates, the means for communication deteriorates, and so communication deteriorates. Would you justify, please? Of course. I don't want to doubt your intelligence, but I would like to point out that even if I communicate in SMS language or chat language on Facebook, when I do write my answers for my exam sheet, I use proper English language. Because I have that sense of intelligence in me to know that there is a difference between communicating on a social networking site and when I'm writing my exam paper. And I assume that all of you are intelligent enough to do that. So I don't see a problem in that. Thank you. We can allow one more question. If we have the gentleman who's raised their hands from the floor to come quickly up, please. Uh, speaker, ma'am, you have said clearly that uh, uh, a school, old school alumni association, a meeting, a social party can also be a form of social networking. Uh, any place where people gather together to network themselves can be called a social networking, uh, is social networking. So why are you only focusing on the electronic uh, notion of social networking, which is the social networking website, when the agenda clearly reads that social networking is a failure of communication, not social networking websites? I, uh, I focused on... Uh yeah, I agree with you completely that uh, social networking can also happen in a party where a group of people are socially networking. I mean, to go by the definition, but you see our fellow opponents don't seem to have a problem with that. The fact that we are socially networking right now, they don't have issues in that because we are using perfectly parliamentary form of language because that's what the debate requires. The problem, the controversy arises when social networking becomes in the form of websites, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, as I even mentioned, that blogs and websites can also be social networking. So I was only focusing on the area which garners controversy. Thank you.